Hello everyone, my name is Tyler with My Computer Works, and today we are going to be discussing some really cool stuff built into not only the normal Google Chrome browser, so the one that you might be using at home, but also Chrome Canary, which if you haven't tried, you can try very easily by giving it a download from their download page, and that'll let you try one of the features that I'm going to show in this video. So I played with three of the new changes or big changes that Chrome has made in the last few updates. And I'm happy to show you on screen what I found, at least my favorite three were. We have one right here, Google Lens in Chrome. Can't wait to show you that one, but let's get right to it. Without further ado, let me show you those features that I found very interesting and I think will be uh, something moving forward a lot of people will want to use in the new Google Chrome updates. All right, so like I said, I actually tried these out myself and I wanna show you on screen how to use them, right? So if you have Chrome Canary, right? If we have Chrome Canary installed on our computer and we open that up and let's say we have two tabs, right? As I have here, we can right click the tabs and choose this option called um, add new uh, tab to new split view right here, okay? Add tab to new split view. All right, so I've got two tabs now. Now look at that, it even shows me over here my other tab, so I can just easily click on this other tab I had open, or I could click it from here and drag it. Let's you do that as well, right? So I'm gonna block these notifications. So we could do it that way and then drop it in, or we can do, we go back to that all recipes website here. We can right click, do new split view with current tab, and then just let it drop in. See, these, this has better rounded corners than trying to drag it that old way, right? Some of us might be stuck on that because a lot of the, the browsers like Firefox and other browsers out there, they, are, they already have that ability, but not in the same window. So that's where it's different. A lot of people are, are gonna say, well, I've seen that before in Edge or Firefox where you can obviously drag out the two uh, windows side by side, but this is built in in a simple right click, arrange split view, separate views, and you can even, you have some other options in here. You can reverse them to flip them real quick, and it's all in the same window, which is kind of cool. So if they actually keep this feature and move this over to Google Chrome, that would be pretty awesome because this is a really nice feature. I really liked this one out of the, the three not having to leave the one browser and split them off into basically two separate browser pages and then use the Windows settings to slop them, you know, to move them over where you want them. This is all built into the browser. It's a lot cleaner if you want to have multi tabs um, view right on one screen, especially on one screen if you're trying to multi view, uh, which is which is good. Think about it this way. Let's say you're trying to get into your email. You're at, you know, yahoo.com. OK, and you go to try and sign in on your browser here and then they need to send you a code to another email. You could easily pull up the other email on the other tab here. Right. So you swap over to the Wikipedia one and uh, take that out and you can you can swap it up top right here to get rid of them and then boom, get them side by side, grab the code and slap it over. So there's a practical ap application of way a way you could use this. It's a very nice tool. I hope they move it over to Google Chrome. That would be that would be really great. OK, so the next one is one that anyone, any sta any standard Google Chrome user can use. OK, so I'm in the regular Google Chrome this time. No, no fancy canary, just the regular Google Chrome. You'll now see when you're at the home page, if it's set to default or you go to Google.com, this AI mode that's built in. OK. And you're going to see this a lot, even if you run regular searches. So let's like, let's say we look up recipes. OK, well, now a lot of times they'll give you an AI mode up here option, right? So it goes AI mode, it'll search for you and tell you the safe websites or places to look over here. You can ask it anything you can do. Look at, see, tell me about the Simpsons 800 episode. They're just giving you some ideas here. But it's built in. It's just right there. Right when we get there, we go to AI mode and we can say, hey, uh, give me a safe recipe website. Okay. 
And there we go, going through all the websites, doing the work for us, okay? So simple ways that you can use AI safely, right? Generate searches or do things a little bit better with faster, really more efficiently with these AI tools. And it's kind of nice that Google makes it so, again, we don't have to go to ChatGPT or another um, AI. They have Gemini built in now. You can use that right there from the search, okay? Pretty nice. All right, everyone, this is my last one to show you you guys, but this is probably my absolute favorite. It's on the cell phone. And if we open up Chrome on the phone, in the search, or if you go find what's called the Google Lens icon, it looks like this camera right here in the corner I'm about to tap. I'm gonna tap that, and that will let me open my camera. Now, I'm gonna use uh, this little toy that I've had. My grandma gave me this a very long time ago. I'm gonna take a picture of that, okay? Now let's say I didn't know what that was and I wanted to find out some more information about it. Now, just off that picture, Google has searched all over the internet to find a lot of information, right? So it's showing me what it is. It's a vintage toy from 1995, Burger King, a goofy movie toy. It's got all kinds of information, people selling other ones if I wanted to get another one. Um, all just all the info I need about that item just from a picture. Okay, this this is probably the coolest thing they've done in a long time. Okay, this is really awesome. Imagine just being able to take a picture of anything with that Google Lens icon, and then boom, all the information you need to know. If you didn't have information, or you're trying to learn more, or you want to look it up without knowing, you know, what to type in, or you don't want to type it all in, you just take that photo. It searches all over the web for you and gives you the results and it's pretty accurate. So I think that was my favorite feature. Let me know what your favorite feature you saw today in the video is down in the comments. And while you're down there, hit that like and subscribe so I can see you on the next one.